All right, so the more we practice our swing alone without hitting the golf ball, the faster and more fully developed our first critical skill becomes swing club head free fluid fast. So practice the golf swing on a regular basis. And another big advantage of practicing the swing without a golf ball is the brain does not have to process the additional task of guiding the club with precision to a specific point. So when we're swinging the club well above the ground at the, at the air, we don't really care if we're precise or not. We're just focused on trying to get the proper sensations of the swing and those three things we talked about. An intimate awareness of the club head's heavy circle, the sensation of power from the speed you're creating, and understanding how that speed is creating its own control, which you will then learn to guide precisely through Ow! <laughs> the motionless ball sitting on the ground. <laughs> oh, that one hurt. <laughs> Let me try that again. Oh, that's much better. Now that is actually a very good lead into our next topic, which is developing our second critical skill. Strike ball with swinging club head. So how do we develop that? Well, Yes, you are going to have to get in your car and go somewhere where you can hit golf balls. Now, if you can actually set up an indoor uh, hitting net in your house or in your backyard, and you can practice hitting balls for 20 minutes a day, that's even better. You need to practice some hitting balls a minimum of one, uh, one time a week. And if you can do two or more, that's even better, depending upon what your time will allow. So, when you strike the golf ball, now what we do, ouch, my fingers are still numb from that skull shot. <laughs> now what we do is we now focus our attention not only on executing the swing correctly, but by feeling that heavy circle cut an arc through the air, and we just trust that the brain and body will figure out how to pass it precisely through the ball. If you do pass the club head precisely through the ball, like I did on that one, you'll hear this tight percussive whack sound and it will feel great. <laughs> that one I did a moment ago where I did my funny swinging leg swing and hit the, uh, and sculled it, that one stung. So when I did scull that shot, what happened? Well, obviously with my legs swinging in the air, I <laughs> wasn't as precise as I would like to be. But let's say for example, I'm not going to skull it because that hurts too much, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to top this one. So let's say, for example, the swing feels fantastic. I felt relaxed. The rhythm felt good. The balance and the finish are all good, but I strike imprecisely and I strike the top of the ball. So then the question becomes, well, how do I change that? How do I fix that? First, what you must not do is do what you've done in the past and desperately guess, maybe my knees were straightening, maybe my arm was bending, my head must have lifted. You can guess at body parts all day long, but if they did change, it's just fractions of inches and you're never going to be able to tell which one it was. The truth is, it was just an error in your execution of skill number two, strike ball with swinging club head. Now, think of it like this. Your club head is making a circular arc through the air. Hopefully it will be precise both in terms of the level of it so that it doesn't swing higher than it should. We either miss the ball or hit the top of it. Or we don't want it to swing too low because then it's going to catch the ground before we get to the ball. We also, from this perspective, do not want to swing it too close to ourselves or too far away. So as the club makes its circular arc, we're trying to guide it with precision to strike the ball. Now on the previous one just a moment ago, I swung inaccurately too high. So the question is, how do you fix swinging too high? If you were here with me live, at this point I would ask you to slap my hand please, and then you would whap, slap my hand. Then I would place my hand to a different place, and I would say slap my hand please, and then you would slap my hand. And then you would slap my hand. Wherever I put my hand, your hand would automatically strike accurately wherever I put my hand. Why? Because as I said earlier in this video, you are excellent at hand-eye coordination. 
Now, the truth is, because you know and are intimately familiar with and aware of where your hand is, when your brain says, hand, strike a hand, slap his hand down here, slap his hand up here, slap his hand down there, give him a high five, your brain and body and the motor control systems you have will do whatever is necessary for your hand to strike accurately to your target. You want to think of your club head as simply an extended version of your hand making a heavy feeling circular arc through space. Then, because you can swing your hand wherever you like, you can also swing your club head wherever you like. So, if I ask you to slap my hand here, and then I quickly put my hand down here and ask you to slap my hand here, you would do something like this. Whack! Whack! Now, in the one case, you swung up here. Then when I put my hand down here, what changed? Well, you swung lower. So, if your club head swings inaccurately too high, and we hit the top of the ball, which should we choose? Option A, try to keep my knees bent, try to keep my arms straight, try to keep my head down, try to keep my spine angle tilted to a certain angle. Or should we choose option B? Swing of the arc of the club head lower next time. <laughs> my recommendation, choose option B. If you strike inaccurately by swinging too high, next time, swing lower. I want to hit dead on the money solid. Now what should we do? If we swing too low and we hit a little bit of ground before getting to contact, well, swung too low. Now what? Swing higher. Another solidly struck shot. So when I do all these funny shots where I'm running around like Happy Gilmore and swinging my legs around and doing all kinds of funny stuff, people often wonder, how, do, how does he do that? Well, to be honest, I have no idea <laughs> what my body parts are doing. Because as I've said from the beginning, the striking of a golf ball is just a simple action of human hand-eye coordination. And so, what my conscious mind is thinking is just executing the two skills we've talked about. Stay relaxed, swing this freely, fluid rhythmic swing, fluidly, fast, and feel the club head make an arc, try and strike it through the ball. That time, I swung in accurately and swung too low. So this time, I'll do the same thing, but simply swing a little higher. So I adjusted the arc that my club head went on so that instead of swinging too low and hitting fat, I would just pick the ball off the top of the grass, which I did. From a conscious standpoint, I'm simply thinking, swing the heavy circle slightly higher, but here's the magic that's going on under the surface. The brain and body and the motor skill functions do trillions of subconscious calculations. So everything that needs to happen for where I need to step, how, how the club comes into the ball, everything that's necessary for the club head to strike accurately into the ball is taken care of in the background subconsciously. So that's why whenever you strike a golf ball, your attention needs to be on swinging the club and striking the golf ball. The reason why golfers struggle so much with golf is they never actually pay any attention to the golf club because the golf culture around them says, do not trust your natural hand-eye coordination skill. You need to make sure that you've got just the right distance to the ball and all the parts of you move biomechanically correctly. The mechanical stuff, the technical stuff, it's not wrong and it's not bad. But the details of the proper grip, posture, distance to the ball, ball positioning, and if you have some major mechanical swing flaw, we may want to look at that and work it out, uh, especially if it's affecting your ability to swing free and fluid and fast and to strike precisely. 
But those things are just the icing, the details. The cake or the foundation of everything is those two critical skills. Swing club head, free fluid fast, strike ball with swinging club head. I struck inaccurately again. Well, I guess I'm human. Swung too low. What should I do now? You got it. Swing higher. And you simply trust that the brain and body can figure out whatever it must do to guide the club with precision accurately through the ball. And you have the same ability too, and yours will develop just like mine developed. But you must remember, I started golf when I was a 10-year-old boy. I'm 50 now, so you do the math. That's a lot of years of skill development. If you're just starting out, be patient. And within two to three to four to five years, your strike ball with swinging club head skill would become more and more precise.